In this video, I'm going to show you how you can allow the users to select the path when they're sending email from Excel. I have here a pretty standard email set up. So I have the email address here. I have the name in here. I have the subject is statement because I we're assuming that you're sending the statements at the end of the month. And I've just picked a file that I have in two locations. So it's green.pdf. And this is the date of the of when you're sending this. So let me show you how it works. So I'm going to go send email. And then user form comes up and it says select path. And so I'm going to select from my uh, desktop. I have invoices. And I know that it's in there. And so I've selected invoices and I say OK. And there is my email that has been generated uh, to this fake email, this, uh, the subject is statement, and then, hello, Mr. Brown, please review the attached statement for, and then it says the date. And the date is coming from your sheet. Best regards, Barb. OK, so now um, next month comes along, and you want to send him one for, um, for next month. So what we're going to do is we're going to close this. And now I'm going to close this as well. And now I'm going to change it to um, 831. So for next month. And now we have, we have these statements in a different location. So now let's click this again. And I'm going to go select path. And then I'm going to go uh, on my desktop again. I'm going to go pictures to use. And I know that it's in there, so I'm going to say OK. And there you go. Here's please review your attached statements for 831. And it's to it's the same people. You'd, send, you'd be sending out um, statements to your, um, to your customers once a month, and you could change the date and select different files to send them from. So let me show you how I did this. The first thing I did is I created a user form. And I just created a user form and um, selected um, from the user form, or the, from the toolbox, I selected the button, put it on here, put the text in here um, to, to say uh, select path. Now I wrote a little bit of code for this path. And so we're going to go right click on this button and we're going to go view code. And it says um, sub command button click. So new path as a string, folder as a file dialog. Now this is the S item is what we're, is the paths list as a string. Set folder as application file dialog, MS folder dialog, folder picker, and with folder. Dot title is select folder, allow multi-select, no, you can only select one. Initial file name, application default file path. And if dot show is not equal to negative one, then go to next code. S item, dot select item, and end width. Next code is get folder, S item, set folder equals nothing. Now I'm calling this a new, this this macro that I wrote, which is new new or uh, new path email with attachment, and I'm bringing with me the s item that we have um, that we have got from this one in here where we've selected it, and so now let me bring up the uh, the new path email, and so my new path email with attachment. And then here we have in the bracket, the S item that we've gotten from that other little script. And then we have E address as a string, subject as a string, message as a string, Outlook app as an object, Outlook mail as an object, file name as a string, my attachment as an object, set path as string, attachment as string, X as integer, M date as date. So that's the date of our statements that we're sending. and String body as string. I'm actually, my body is actually written in HTML just because I'm comfortable with it. And so 
x equals 2, yeah, because I had heading rows, and it's while I still have email addresses, so that's x being being starting the row, so while it's not equal to blank, then you're going to keep doing this loop. And so then we're setting uh, Outlook apps, setting up Outlook app, setting up Outlook mail, and my attachments were all setting up here. So now the path, which is the S item, when you select the path, it doesn't have the final um, the final backslash that you require. And so I'm doing I'm going S item and and I'm putting the final back paths when you're defining this in your um, in your code. You, it's necessary for it to work. The E address is what you have in X in in the A column. Um, subject is what you have in the um, C column. Name is what you have in the um, in the B column. And M date is that one cell that we have on our um, on our sheet with the date in it. The string body, so this is my HTML, so it's saying hello, and then you put the name in, the name of your customer there, and please review the attached statement for, and then this is your M date that you're adding into the message. Best regards, Barb, and then the attachment is simply the path that we've defined plus the file name, uh, Outlook Mail, with Outlook Mail, two email address, there's no carbon copies or blind carbon copies, the subject is what we've defined. The body um, is nothing because I'm sending this as a string. And my Outlook mail item equals HTML equals string. My attachments add and attachments in black brackets. And, um, and then we loop again and then we clear, we clear everything before we get out of this application. I will, of course, include this code in the description of my video. So this is how you allow the users to select their path when sending email from Excel. Please subscribe.